Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Nuggets at Noon. I hope you had an awesome weekend. Uh, when I ask people sometimes, what is your favorite book of the Bible? Think about it just a moment. What is your favorite book of the Bible? Well, oftentimes I hear the word Psalms, the book of Psalms. Well, I've thought about why people like the book of Psalms, and I like the book of Psalms, but I thought about it. There's so many Psalms that are that are uh, deal with our emotions. I mean, we can relate with them. Sometimes we just we just want to praise God. Hallelujah. Other times we feel like that. Why is it the evil or the wicked they prosper, and the other the ones that try to follow the Lord they don't seem to prosper? Well, you know that's just the feeling of the psalmist. The psalms are actually songs that are written by various uh, authors, and many of them, however, are written by the author David. And uh, David went through a lot of emotions, went through a lot of trials, and and we see his emotions, and we see how human nature never changes, and, and how we have those same emotions, and that's why Psalms are so interesting. And the book of Psalms is organized into five different books, and uh, book number one goes through chapter one through 41, but chapter number one kind of kind of sets the stage for the whole for the whole book and it gives a contrast between the righteous and the unrighteous you know oftentimes that uh we like multiple choice like i don't want a i don't want b i'll take c or whatever but in god's world in the spiritual world there's usually only two choices there's a right there's a wrong there's a uh a, a good and an evil there were two trees in the garden remember uh, well, there was more trees, I believe, but there were two that are mentioned. The good, uh, the tree of uh, uh, good and evil, uh, the knowledge of good and evil, and the tree of life. And so um, I think it's important for us to realize that this chapter, number one, kind of sets the stage of a contrast between two people. Let me begin reading. Verse number one, chapter one of Psalm. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scoffers. That word blessed often is translated happy. Happy is the man who does not sit or does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. You see, there's a lot of voices in our world today that are saying this is right, this is wrong. You know, it seems like we live in a day which wrong is right and right is wrong, you know. And and the Bible said that that day was coming. We are there. But blessed, happy is the man who will not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. That word meditate, you know, we we really, um, I thought about this, that we we think about, when, when, when you're madly in love with someone, they're never far from your mind. And it, think about when you were dating or, or courting and, and, and your, your spouse, and you were so in love with them and that you're always thinking about them. And it's the same way with our Lord. When you're madly in love with them and when we, when we, uh, uh, consume, uh, his word and we think about him, uh, then we're not going to want to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. We're going to know the direction that we should go. So let me just re read it one more time. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. We love the law of the Lord. We're going to listen. We're going to focus on what God says, not what man says. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to pick up the rest of this uh, chapter. However, tomorrow, I believe we're going to have a guest with us. And you don't want to miss it. Grace testimony. God bless you. Bye-bye.